Paano nga ba gagamitin ang discriminant para ma-describe ang nature of roots ng given quadratic equation? Alamin ang sagot sa video na ito. Good day learners! Today we're going to talk about the nature of roots of a quadratic equation. But before that, we're going to describe first the following terms. Real numbers is the set of numbers containing all of the rational numbers and all of the irrational numbers. Example, 7, 1 half, square root of 5, negative 10, 0, and 0 0.34. Rational numbers are those numbers which can be expressed as a ratio of two integers. For example, 1 third, negative 2 fifth, 0 0.6 and 4. The rational numbers are those numbers that cannot be written as a ratio or a fraction of two integers. Example, square root of 2, square root of 13, and pi. Perfect squares is a product of two equal integers. Example, 9, 49, 25, 36, 1, and 4. Para malaman natin ang nature ng mga roots ng given quadratic equation, gagamitin natin ang concept ng discriminant. So, we have here the term of discriminant. So, discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Now, the discriminant is derived from our standard form of the quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Kung natatandaan niyo yung quadratic formula natin, makikita natin yung discriminant na b squared minus 4ac sa loob ng square root. Okay. So para matulungan tayo na ma-describe yung nature ng roots ng given uh, quadratic equation, ito yung susundin natin ng mga conditions. Number one, if ang discriminant or if ang b squared minus 4ac, ang result niya ay magiging equal to zero, Therefore, the roots of that particular quadratic equation are real and equal. And if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, ibig sabihin yung magiging result niya is uh, mga positive numbers. At the same time, perfect square. So, diniscuss ko kanina yung uh, about sa perfect square. When we say perfect square, product of two equal integers. Next. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 and not a perfect square, then the roots are irrational but not equal. Lastly, if the discriminant or the b, or b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, in this case, negative yung makukuha natin na answer, the quadratic equation has no real roots. So para mas lalo natin maintindihan, magbibigay ako ng example. Example number one. Uh, suppose the given quadratic equation is x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, before natin i-apply yung discriminant, make sure na nakasulat yung quadratic equation natin in standard form. Again, the standard form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So in this case, yung number one natin is written already in standard form. Then, First thing that we're going to do is to list down muna yung mga given natin, given values. So, let's identify first yung value ng A. So, ang value ng A natin dito is 1. B, the numerical coefficient of the linear term or the second term, we have negative 4. And C, the constant, we have 4. Okay. So, after natin makuha yung values, then that's the time that we're going to substitute A to our formula sa pagkuha ng discriminant. So, we have b squared minus 4ac. Then, we're going to substitute yung mga given values natin. So, b is negative 4. So, ilalagay natin sa loob ng parenthesis. Negative 4 squared minus 4. four. Yung 4 natin dito is a constant. Okay? Again, this, the, yung discriminant natin is derived from our uh, product. Then A, so our the value of A is 1, times C, which is 4. 
Okay, ilalagay natin sa loob ng parenthesis para hindi tayo ma dito. And we all know na ang operation sa gitna nila ay multiplication. Okay, let's simplify. Negative 4 squared, we will have 16. Minus 4 times 1 times 4. So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 4 is equal to... Uh, 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Simplify further, 16 minus 16 is equal to 0. So since 0 yung nakuha natin, titignan natin ngayon yung description dito, yung apat na description. Saan siya natipid? So pag 0 daw yung nakuha natin na discriminant, then ang roots niya ay, ang roots niya ay real and equal. So, so since 0, therefore, the roots of this quadratic equation Roots of the quadratic equation are real and equal. Okay, second example. We have 3x squared minus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. So, again, make sure na naka-standard form. So, yung number 2 naka-standard form na ang pagkasulat niya. Then, the first step, we're going to list down the values of A, B, and C. So, A is equal to 3. B is equal to negative 2. And C is equal to 5. Then, we're going to substitute now the values to our discriminant the formula. So, we will have B squared. B is negative 2. So, substitute negative 2 squared minus 4 times A, which is 3. Tapos C, which is equal to 5. Tapos nyan, we're going to simplify. So, negative 2 squared, that is negative 2 times negative 2. So, the answer will be positive 4. Minus 4 times 3 times 5. Okay, so 4 times 3. That is equal to 12. 12 times 5, that would be equal to 60. Then, simplify natin further. So, 4 minus 60 would be equal to negative 54. So, ito na yung value ng discriminant natin. So, titignan natin yung value ng discriminant. So, mapapansin natin yung value is a negative integer. Paano natin i-describe yung nature of roots niya? base sa kanyang, base sa nakuha natin na discriminant, na negative 54. So in this case, ito yung pangapat. So, pag ang discriminant daw is less than 0, sa so madaling salita, yung answer is negative. So since negative yung answer natin, therefore we can say that the roots or the quadratic equation Quadratic equation has no real roots. Next example, we have 2x squared is equal to negative 3x minus 1. So, kung papansinin natin yung given na quadratic equation, hindi pa siya nakasulat into standard form. So, uh, kailangan muna natin siyang i-transform into standard form. So, yung linear at yung constant niya, kailangan natin i-transpose sa left side ng equation. So, yung equation natin magiging 2x squared. Yung negative 3x, ililipat natin sa left side ng equation. Kaya, magiging positive 3x or plus 3x. Same din sa negative 1. Negative 1, ngayon ay magiging positive 1. So, plus 1 is equal to 0. So, since naka-standard form na siya, kukunin na natin yung values ni A, B, and C. So, ang A natin would be 2. Ang B would be 3. At ang value naman ng C would be equal to 1. Okay. Then, sulat agad natin yung formula ng discriminant. Then, substitute. So, B squared, we have 3 squared minus 4 times 2. Sorry, times 2 Then times C which is equal to 
one. Okay. Then, simplify natin further. So, we have 3 squared. That is equal to 9. Minus. So, we have 4 times 2 times 1. So, 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 1 is 8. It's equal to 9 minus 8. So, 9 minus 8, the final answer natin would be equal to 1. Okay. Now, titignan na natin yung result. Kung less than 0 ba, equal to 0 ba, or greater than 0. Okay. So, we all know that 1 is greater than 0. So, we have here two conditions. Titignan natin ngayon, or alamin natin kung si 1 ba is perfect square. Is 1 a perfect square? So, the answer is yes. So, since 1 is a perfect square, so yung description or yung pag-describe sa nature of roots ng given natin na kodating equation, we're going to use itong pangalawa. Therefore, uh, the roots of the quadratic equation or the given quadratic equation are rational but not equal. Let's have now our last example. So we have x squared minus 7x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, on, uh, mapapansin natin nakasulat na siya in standard form. So the first step, we're going to get the values of a, b, and c. A is equal to 1, B is equal to negative 7, and C is equal to positive 2. Then, write the formula sa pagkawa ng discriminant. So, B squared minus 4AC equals, so we have B, that would be negative 7 squared, Tapos, minus 4. Then, it's a substitute natin si A and C. So, A is 1. And C is 2. Then, it's simplify natin. So, negative 7 squared. Ibig sabihin, negative 7 times negative 7. The answer is 49. Then, minus 4 times 1 times 2. So, 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Simplify natin further. So, we have 49 minus 8. 49 minus 8, we have 41. Itignan natin ngayon yung final answer natin. So, based on description, 41 is greater than 0. Pero yung tanong, perfect square ba siya or hindi? So, 41 is not a perfect square. So, yung description na pag-describe natin sa nature of roots ng given natin ng quadratic equation, we're going to use yung pangatlo. Okay? So, the conclusion would be since 41 or greater than 0 yung discriminant natin and at the same time, it is not a perfect square. Therefore, the the roots of the given quadratic equation are irrational but not uh, equal. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section and we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution at kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.